Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Borgi. Huge thanks to Borgi and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Borgi reached out asking for a Voltron deck led by Zergo Helm Smasher, and I was more than happy to help. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Zergo Helm Smasher is a 5 mana 7 2 legendary orc warrior with haste. He attacks each turn if able, and is indestructible so long as it's our turn. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Zergo this turn dies, we put a plus one plus one counter on him. Zergo is a beast. Strong, good stats, and wants to swing out every turn. And since we're in Mardu, we have lots of support to find the best equipment in the game. That being said, Borgi said he wanted to keep the deck's budget under $300, so I made sure to do so. Before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. For the past few years, Ultimate Guard has been hard at work finding ways to protect your cards without damaging the planet, and they have discovered it. Boulders, once made entirely of plastic, are now made of 87% renewable resources. They also come in a variety of sizes, including this new Return to Earth 100 card boulder. If you're like me, you have tons of decks and don't want to have those boxes filling up an entire suitcase, this box is the perfect solution. Find it if your local game store carries the new Return to Earth boulder from Ultimate Guard, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Oh, one more quick announcement before we get started. I'm going to be streaming on Musings by Danon as well as Twitch. It'll mostly be Final Fantasy XIV, but you're more than welcome to pop in and talk about Commander. Honestly, about half my streams are talking about manga, anime, or Commander. Our land base consists of Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Sun Home Fortress of the Legion, Axe Guard Armory, Nomad Outpost, Clifftop Retreat, Isolated Chapel, Dragon Skull Summit, Sun Scorch Divide, Tainted Field, Tainted Peak, Rugged Prairie, Fetid Heath, Graven Cairns, Battlefield Forge, Caves of Koilos, Sulphurous Springs, Boros Garrison, Orsoff Basilica, Rakdos Cranarium, Rogue's Passage, Pajuka Bog, Four Mountains, Five Plains, and Four Swamps. Not too expensive, had to leave room in the budget for good equipment after all. For Mana Ramp, we're running the Reaver Cleaver, Sword of the Animist, Sword of Hearth and Home, Sword of Feast and Famine, Danitha Capuchin Paragon, Solemn Simulacrum, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Conviction, Talisman of Hierarchy, Talisman of Indulgence, Boros Signet, Orzov Signet, and Rakdos Signet. A good mix of on theme ramp as well as staples. For card advantage, we're running SRAM Senior Edificer, Enlightened Tutor, Open the Armory, Forge Anew, Stone Hewer Giant, Stoneforge Mystic, Esper Sentinel, Sun Titan, Mask of Memory, Sword of Forge and Frontier, Wheel of Misfortune, and Pure Steel Paladin. Gotta dig for as many pieces of equipment as possible. Our interaction and spot removal consists of Swords to Plowshares, Boros Charm, Abraid, Destroy Evil, Fracture, Generous Gift, The Devil, Chaos Warp, Rakdos Charm, Deflecting Palm, Ride Down, and Disenchant. Lots of ways to keep our opponents in line. 
reset the board, we've got Blasphemous Act and Damn. Flexible, and we'll keep our commander alive. The core of our deck consists of Excalibur, Sword of Eden, Loxodon Warhammer, Blackblade Reforged, Lizard Blades, Thrawn Power Suit, Two Handed Axe, Colossus Hammer, Hammer of Dazan, Shadow Spear, Trailblazer's Boots, Mithril Coat, Maul of the Skyclaves, and Helm of the Host. Supporting our plan, we've also got Blacksmith's Talent, Dawn's Truce, Swiftfoot Boots, Sigarda's Aid, Brunor Battlehammer, Akiri Fearless Voyager, and Mother of Runes. Finally, to help close out the game, we've got Overpowering Attack, Ryu Storm's Edge, Kedis Emberclaw Familiar, and Aurelia the War Leader. Gotta love extra combat steps. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 49 mana sources split between 34 lands and 15 pieces of ramp. 12 pieces of card advantage. 12 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Rakdos Charm and Bajukabog. 1 sudden eye win card in Aurelia the War Leader. For those who don't know, Aurelia the War Leader goes infinite if you flicker her, which we can do with Sword of Hearth and Home. We equip the sword to our commander and attack with both him and Aurelia, triggering our additional combat phase. The damage trigger from the sword flickers Aurelia and fetches us a basic. Then we attack again, triggering an additional combat phase. Remember, since we flickered Aurelia, she's considered a new instance of the creature, so she creates a new combat phase every single time she's flickered. Yes, I know it's mean. It's Voltron, were you expecting fluffy bunnies? Do you have a Voltron deck? Who's your commander? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to Meta to Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Borgi, Naswin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazaris, Slack, Booksu, Patrick, Fox, Liam, Travis, Naffy, Sean, and Michael. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.